Hello! Today we are going to talk about the Lean Six Sigma concept SIPOC. SIPOC stands for Suppliers, Inputs, Process, Outputs, and Customers. In practice, SIPOC is a process map that gives an in-depth overview of the inputs and outputs of a process or a combination of processes. We will use making a grilled cheese as our example process, starting with suppliers. Suppliers are those who supply whatever is worked on in the process. For this example, the gas company providing gas to the grill, myself who is grilling the grilled cheese, and those who had to source the materials at the grocery stores. Moving on to inputs. Inputs are the raw materials for the process. Your inputs are dependent on the type of work you're doing. Inputs can range from data to salad ingredients to unrefined metals. In this example, our inputs are cheese, two slices of bread, butter, pan, and fire. Next up, process. The process is the method of creating your desired outputs. This is a step-by-step -step list of everything you're doing to develop outputs. In this example, I heat the pan, I butter the pan, I toast both sides of my bread, I add cheese to one side of my bread, I combine the bread, I eat the grilled cheese, and I have to clean the pan. Next up, outputs. Outputs are the result of your process. Every output should be connected with at least one customer element. Our outputs here are, I get to watch the cool sizzling effect once I rinse the pan, a dirty pan, cheese residue on the pan making it harder to clean, I am now nourished, and now I have a clean space. Finally, the customer is the final element to the SIPOC diagram. This can be those who purchased elements from the SIPOC. Don't forget to include workers who had to purchase the raw materials inputs to make your process function. In this case, our customers are myself who consumed the grilled cheese, and those who had to source the materials at the grocery stores. Now let's talk about some scenarios when you should put together an SIPOC. An SIPOC can be used to realign people on a process that has changed, or one which was implemented a while ago, such that its operation has been forgotten. You can also use an SIPOC to provide a starting point for defining a new process, even when all stakeholders are aware of the current process and its steps. Whether you're looking for a yellow belt, green belt, or black belt, GoSkills has information that you can use to improve your processes and see your project succeed. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and check out GoSkills.com for more career boosting tips.